Hello everybody, I am just walking the dog here through some local woods near me and I've been starting to have some thoughts about vlogging, video logging. And this isn't something I've ever really done before very much. I've done a reasonable amount of video in my time, some of it reasonably professional, some of it more uh, holiday footage. I did some a fun um, 360, you know, spherical camera view of a camper van trip to France uh, a, a year or so ago, um, <clears throat> which involved quite a lot of me just kind of talking to camera. But the overall thing of doing a regular kind of video blog is something I've never quite got into. But uh, I've been a bit late to that game. I was reasonably early to the blogging game. And I think one of the things that has, uh, has slowed me down has been the feeling that um, I didn't really have the right gear for it. At least I did, but the video gear I've got was sufficiently big and bulky and so on that uh, I wouldn't really want to whip it out at a moment's notice and start filming myself. Um, and so perhaps I need to get myself a, a radio microphone um, and a smaller vlogging camera with a built-in screen and all of these kind of things. Uh, and then I realised that, well, actually, you could carry on making those excuses indefinitely and I have in my pocket an iPhone, albeit an elderly iPhone, this is just an iPhone 6, but it's actually really rather good for this. And uh, I have an old selfie stick here. Never thought I would own one of those, but I do have one from a past project. And so um, I've got everything I need to start recording myself and talking about things. Um, but would I really say anything that people were interested in listening to? And then I've started to feel that perhaps I shouldn't worry too much about that. You see, I started a blog because in my youth, I always really liked the idea of keeping a diary, but I was always kind of terrified of if I had a diary and wrote all my innermost secrets in it, what if somebody found it and they knew all my innermost secrets? So when blogs came along, I kind of went to the opposite extreme and said, well, I'll have a kind of diary in which I write down stuff, but I know from the word go that it's completely public, that everybody can see this. Uh, and so that helps me organize my thoughts a little bit because I know that I'm in some sense responsible to someone other than just me. Uh, it does mean I don't write down my most innermost thoughts on it, um, but, uh, but actually it allowed me to start going when, um, when otherwise, you know, I, uh, other concerns uh, might have kept me back. Basically, just get on with it. Don't worry too much about what people think. Don't worry too much about uh, what you've got to say. It's better to start than not to start. Who knows whether I'll continue. Many vlogs, no doubt, begin in a similar frame. So I have been looking at reviews of the Canon um, G7X series. There are a couple of different ones now. The Mark II and the Mark III are out. Both of these are like the standard vlogging cameras because they have a nice um, pop-up screen. They're very small, they're reasonably capable. Uh, they have a nice pop-up screen so that, you know, a fully reversible viewfinder so that you can actually, um, you can see yourself. And uh, and they seem to be very popular and of course you get much better lenses uh, and more zoom capabilities and so on than you do on something like an iPhone where you're pretty much stuck with what you're given. Now I have a little bit of a challenge here, I've got a little stream to jump over which involves climbing along a slippery log, excuse me for a moment, whoa, whoa, whoa. there we go, ah, there we go, made it. Um, And I think the thing to do is to perhaps consider getting something like that if I do find that I carry on doing this. But if this is my one and only vlog post, then, uh, then perhaps it's not so important uh, and it'll save me an awful lot of money if I, uh, if I discover that now. So I do hope to do a few more of these. Um, I haven't been doing as much blogging as I want to recently. Um, but I'm trying to pick that up again because I think it is far preferable to a lot of other ways of communicating. Um, but I increasingly find I enjoy watching other people's videos on YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube, actually. Uh, uh, people who have usually interests 
you know, that I have something in common with, whether it be home automation or Python programming or camper vans or travel of various different sorts. Electric vehicles is another hobby of mine. And, uh, and even if on any kind of objective basis, they're maybe not saying anything earth shattering, it's still kind of fun to watch uh, someone who has shared interests with you um, in the same way as you might have a, you know, perhaps not very earth shattering uh, chat with somebody over lunch. Um, but there is something there, there's something that makes you feel you're part of a community, even if all you're doing is really um, uh, sitting and watching somebody's ramblings. So be prepared. Here come some ramblings from Quentin over the next few days, weeks, years, who knows. Um, this blogging thing seems to have taken off. Uh, and we'll see whether I have anything worth saying or not. I have lots of other videos on YouTube and some of them have been really quite popular. These are mostly sort of software tutorials and things um, which have clocked up surprising numbers in some cases. Um, and I don't expect that to be anything like this. Uh, but I do have some interesting trips planned in the not too distant future and occasionally I get to go to some interesting places. So perhaps I'll do a few more posts on this channel. Stand by for excitement.